Still haven't decided what to cook for Christmas dinner? Well, worry no more. Picture this, you're in your cozy kitchen, the Christmas tree is twinkling in the corner, and the smell of delicious food fills the air. But wait, you're not slaving over a hot stove all day. Instead, you're enjoying the holiday festivities because you've got five simple and scrumptious recipes up your sleeve, each ready in less than an hour. That's right, we're about to embark on a culinary journey, whipping up mouthwatering dishes that won't leave you worn out. From a succulent main course to a decadent dessert, and even a warming beverage, we've got all bases covered. So, whether you're a seasoned cook or a beginner in the kitchen, these recipes will make your Christmas dinner a hit. So, are you ready to dive into the world of quick and tasty Christmas dinner ideas? Here we go! The first recipe on our list is a classic, honey glazed ham. Picture this, a beautifully glazed, tender and juicy ham, glistening under the warm glow of your Christmas lights. It's a sight that promises a feast of flavors, and the good news is, it's easier to achieve than you might think. Let's start with the star of the show, the ham. You'll need a bone-in, fully cooked ham that weighs about 8 to 10 pounds. Now, for the glaze, you'll need a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of honey, and two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. This trio is going to give us the perfect balance of sweetness and tanginess that makes this dish a crowd pleaser. Now, on to the preparation. First, preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven is warming up, place your ham in a roasting pan, cut side down. This allows the ham to baste in its own juices as it cooks, making it incredibly tender and flavorful. Moving on to the glaze in a small saucepan over medium heat, combine the brown sugar, honey, and Dijon mustard. Stir until the sugar is completely dissolved and the mixture is smooth. This is your honey glaze and it's about to transform your ham into a festive delight. Once your oven is preheated, brush your ham generously with half of your honey glaze, then pop it into the oven. The ham needs to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes per pound. Halfway through, brush the rest of the glaze on the ham and continue to bake until it's beautifully golden and the internal temperature reads 140 degrees Fahrenheit on a meat thermometer. And voila, your honey glazed ham is ready. Slice it up and serve it with your favorite sides. Perhaps some mashed potatoes, roasted vegetables, or a fresh green salad. This classic dish not only brings a festive atmosphere to your dinner table, but also a delicious memory that will linger long after the last bite has been savored. And there you have it, a delightful honey glazed ham to warm your Christmas night. Moving on to our second recipe, creamy garlic parmesan pasta. This dish is the epitome of comfort food, rich, creamy, and full of flavor. It's also incredibly simple to make, which is a bonus for those of us who are busy wrapping gifts and decorating the tree. Start by boiling a pot of salted water and cooking your pasta until it's al dente. While the pasta is cooking, let's move on to the star of the show, the creamy garlic parmesan sauce. In a separate pan, melt some butter and saute finely chopped garlic until it's fragrant. Then, pour in some heavy cream and let it simmer until it thickens slightly. Next, you'll want to add a generous amount of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Stir it into the cream until it's fully melted and the sauce is nice and thick. Season it with salt and pepper to taste. And don't forget to add a pinch of nutmeg for that extra bit of warmth. Now here's where you can get creative. You can add some grilled chicken or sauteed shrimp if you like. Or, if you're catering to vegetarians, roasted vegetables or sautéed mushrooms would be a tasty addition. Once your pasta is cooked, drain it and add it to the pan with the sauce. Toss it until every strand of pasta is coated in that creamy, cheesy goodness. And there you have it. Creamy garlic parmesan pasta. A dish that's sure to impress your guests this Christmas. It's rich and comforting, but the garlic and parmesan give it a sophistication that's perfect for a festive feast. And the best part? It only takes about 20 minutes from start to finish. That's less time than it takes to watch your favorite Christmas movie. So, even if you've left your meal planning to the last minute, there's no need to panic. With this creamy garlic Parmesan pasta, your Christmas dinner just got a lot more exciting. For our third recipe, we have a healthy and colorful roasted vegetable medley. Now what's magical about this dish is its flexibility. You can easily adjust it to whatever veggies you have on hand. But for today, we'll be using a good mix of bell peppers, zucchini, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. These are not only vibrant in color, but also rich in a variety of nutrients. Begin by preheating your oven to a toasty 400 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven's warming up, it's time to prepare your vegetables. Wash them thoroughly 
and then chop them into large chunks. The size isn't crucial, but try to keep everything relatively even so that it all roasts at the same pace. Once your vegetables are chopped, toss them into a large bowl. Drizzle over a generous glug of olive oil and season with salt, pepper, and your choice of herbs. We're going for rosemary and thyme today, but feel free to switch it up with your favorite herbs. Now, give everything a good mix with your hands until all the vegetables are well coated with the oil and seasonings. Spread them out on a large baking sheet making sure they have plenty of space to roast evenly. Pop them into your preheated oven and let them roast for about 30 to 40 minutes or until they're tender and slightly caramelized at the edges. While they're roasting, you can prepare a simple balsamic glaze by simmering balsamic vinegar and a touch of honey over medium heat until it reduces to a syrupy consistency. Drizzle this over your roasted veggies just before serving to add an extra depth of flavor. And there you have it. A roasted vegetable medley that's as versatile as it is delicious. This dish can be a side to your main course or star as a healthy main dish itself. It's a rainbow of flavors, textures, and colors that's sure to brighten up your Christmas table. This roasted vegetable medley is not only pleasing to the eye, but also packed with nutrients. A true Christmas treat. Our fourth recipe is a sweet treat, an easy Christmas trifle. Now, this is a dessert that's as delightful to look at as it is to eat. It's all about the layers, each one bringing a unique texture and flavor to the table. Let's start with the bottom layer, a dense, moist sponge cake. This cake will soak up all the beautiful flavors we'll add later, forming a solid base for our trifle. Next, we add a layer of fresh, juicy berries. The tartness of the berries will balance out the sweetness of our other layers and add a pop of color to our trifle. Then comes a thick layer of creamy custard. This layer is smooth and velvety, adding a touch of luxury to our dessert. On top of the custard, we add a layer of whipped cream. The cream is light and fluffy, contrasting beautifully with the dense cake and creamy custard. Finally, we finish with a sprinkle of crushed gingerbread cookies. The cookies add a little crunch and a hint of spice to our trifle, rounding out the flavors perfectly. And the best part? This dessert can be prepared in advance, giving you one less thing to worry about on Christmas Day. This easy Christmas trifle will surely bring a sweet ending to your Christmas dinner. Last but not least, we have the perfect drink to accompany your dinner, mulled wine. Mulled wine is a traditional holiday beverage that's as delightful to make as it is to sip. The process starts by pouring a bottle of red wine into a pot. A dry, full-bodied option works best here. As the wine begins to warm, we'll add the spices that give mulled wine its signature aroma. We're talking cinnamon sticks, whole cloves, and star anise. These spices combine to create a fragrance that's as cozy as a roaring fireplace on a cold winter's night. Next, we'll sweeten things up. A bit of honey or sugar will do the trick. And then, we'll add a touch of citrus. Orange slices not only contribute a lovely acidity, but also look pretty floating in your glass. Now, if you prefer a non-alcoholic version, don't worry. You can still enjoy the festive flavors of mulled wine. Simply swap out the wine for cranberry juice or grape juice and follow the same steps. Once everything is warmed and steeped, strain out the spices, pour into mugs, and garnish with a cinnamon stick or an orange slice. And there you have it. The house is filled with the scent of Christmas and you're ready to settle in with a comforting cup of holiday cheer. Raise your glasses of warm, aromatic mulled wine and toast to a wonderful Christmas dinner. There you have it, five last-minute Christmas dinner ideas. We started off with a mouth-watering honey-glazed ham, a classic centerpiece that's both festive and delectable. We then moved on to the creamy garlic parmesan pasta, a rich and indulgent side dish that's sure to be a hit with everyone at the table. Next up was the roasted vegetable medley, bringing a pop of color and a dose of health to your Christmas spread. We couldn't forget about dessert, could we? The easy Christmas trifle was our sweet offering, luscious layers of cream, fruit, and sponge cake that would make anyone's eyes sparkle. And to top it all off, we had the mulled wine, a warming and aromatic drink that perfectly encapsulates the spirit of Christmas. So there's no need for panic, even if you're running late on your Christmas dinner preparations. Enjoy your Christmas dinner preparations, and here's wishing you a merry and delicious Christmas. Don't forget to like and subscribe.